let's take a second to talk about DTMF, what it is, and how to troubleshoot it in Switchbox. DTMF tones are the tones that are sent when a caller presses the number pad on a phone. During a call, these key presses pass tones to the Switchbox to let us know what action to take. If the Switchbox does not receive these tones correctly, there can be issues routing the call. To troubleshoot this in Switchbox, we will, once again, identify, reproduce, and isolate the issue. If all configuration has been checked, including extension dialing being enabled within the IVR, as well as making sure all IVR actions within the IVR in question are interruptible, and the issue does not happen when dialing the IVR directly from an extension internal to the Switchbox, then the issue is most likely DTMF recognition. The first thing to check when dealing with DTMF issues over analog or PRI trunks is to make sure that the DTMF is relaxed in the channel group settings. This setting basically relaxes the software's strictness when listening for DTMF tones. If this setting is set to yes and you are still having DTMF issues, then the next step is to set up a simple IVR to record the digits pressed and play them back to you so you can get an idea as to what the switch box thinks it is receiving. The IVR should consist of two actions, a record digits, I always choose to record 10 digits, but feel free to record more if you like. Set the recorded digits to a variable, and then use the say digits letters action to play the variable back to you. Once you have this set up, give this IVR an extension number so we can dial it, and then point a DID or make the callback extension this IVR. Now make some test calls to this IVR and see if the issue persists. If it does, then we know that the switch box is receiving inaccurate or missing DTMF. If the IBR shows that we are receiving the DTMF digits correctly, then the issue is most likely user error or only happens to specific cell phones on certain providers. At that point, you would need to gather more data from the users and isolate the external issue. This is a quick and easy way to troubleshoot DTMF issues on customers' systems. Remember, the whole goal of troubleshooting is to identify, reproduce, and isolate.